So me and Cora first met last year during soccer strength and conditioning over the summer. And so me and my friends who had done summer gym were there for the first time and we were like getting set up on the iPads and Cora was there too. And I was like, well, I've never seen her before. So she must be like an upperclassman or something or like a sophomore because at that time we were freshmen. My family moved from California to Indiana. Before we moved, we found out that my mom had some really big health problems that would have to be solved with a medical surgery on her brain, which absolutely terrified me. And then being told a couple weeks later I was moving 2,000 miles from the only friends and family I had didn't really help either. My mental health was pretty low at the time. My relationship with my parents was not great. The worst part was that my relationship with God was strained. Because if there was a God who existed and who loved me, why would he let me go through so much pain? And I was doing soccer through Carol, and they had a summer strength and conditioning program that I was going to to get prepped for the season. I met these girls that were um, also freshmen going into high school. And we just kind of started talking, and we really started connecting. And so then the 4th of July event was coming up, so I was like, oh, you and your family should come to that. It should be super fun. And I was telling her, like, there'll be inflatables and, like, worship and all this stuff. And she was like, oh, OK, maybe I will come. So I started going to Impact, and I just something was set off in my heart. I don't think I've ever seen a group of students and leaders just so eager to learn and teach and worship God. And as a new kid, it was so great to just see the openness and kindness from complete strangers. Flash forward to a Hungry Hungry Hippo night. I got to hear my small group leader, Aubrey, share a testimony about her broken relationships throughout high school and how they were affecting her relationship with God. And I think that just really struck a chord in me, and I realized I needed to be there that night in order to hear that message. That night when Tanner asked if anyone would stand up to announce that they're, um, they were giving their life to God, I stood up. And I think in that moment, not only was I feeling the Holy Spirit moving through me, but I felt it moving through all the students that had their hands on me and praying for me and in that moment I just felt so overwhelmed. So it's really important that we invite people to church because that's God's way of working through us. Like for example if I would have never invited Cora she might have never reconnected with God in the way that she did. And that's not me, that's God working just by talking through me to get to Cora. And I feel like it's just so important because we always talk about and pray about like God use me for other people but then we don't actually go out and give him those opportunities to use us. I want to challenge people to invite people to their church, even if you don't know them very well. I think, I mean, when I look back, I had only known Lila, what, two days before yeah. I was invited, and we really weren't that great of friends yet, but we had a connection, and getting to just going to Pathway together and going to Impact throughout the past year has really brought us closer together, and it has also brought us both closer to a relationship with God. Definitely, and even our relationship together has given us other opportunities within things like our own sports team, you know. Every game we write a verse on our arm, you know, we go around and everybody gets to like pick what verse they want to use or whatever. And then we all take a picture together and we pray together on the field and stuff. So like, just that, like reaching out to one person has led to reaching out to so many other people too. Kind of going back to like the empty chair, like in your small group, I know in the back of your mind for every single person, there's one person in there who you're like, they should be here or they could be here right now. You know, like kind of just thinking about who's the person that's missing and why aren't they there, you know? And what can I do to change that? It's so important that we reach out to our, our lost friends and in order to connect them to churches and places because we never know what they're going through and we can never know what they're feeling, but we know that God knows and that God can help heal and God can help fix the broken. So uh, one thing that I definitely like think about a lot is the verse about like how the harvest is plentiful but the workers are few. And that's something so important for me because like there's so many people out there that like they know that there's something missing in their lives and they know that they want something and they like see other people like me who try and live that out and they're like, I want that. But they need that relationship of like someone to talk to them and explain that to them. If I have all this joy from following God and I have this personal relationship with Him that like really just gets me through my day, why wouldn't I want to share that with someone else who, else who may be struggling with other things that they're going through? Luke 15, 24 says, For this child mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and now is found. I was once that child. I went from death to life.